real quick. Open my cam up, man. Let's see what I can do here. My camera on, y'all. Not yet. Okay. All right. Mm. Anyway, man, I want to welcome y'all to the Hangout, man, to the Black Acres Library, Black African Power. What's good, Brother Barry? You must be in court. Now your cam came on. I'm over here on, doing, on dialysis, but, I, I, you know, I came in to get some wisdom. Okay, all right, man. You sit back and enjoy that, man. All right, man. Okay. Uh, Brother Nessie, Black African Power, man. Black African Power. Yeah, we bringing something to the Black Atheist Library, man. We do a lot of we working on the information, going back over it, hitting some details that we might have missed. All right. So, um, you know, it's that John Hansen topic again. And, you know, as we were discussing a little earlier, man, tell me your experience, yo, with the John Hansen thing, yo. First time I experienced that John Hansen myth was when, uh, they had me look it up in a book, and then they had me go to the Library of Congress where you put a name in the search, and then, you know, the black picture showed up. So I'm like, that got to be real. I'm up here telling folk they lie. And when I found the truth, you know, like, dang, I done spread it a lie. <laughs> hey, they got me. They got me. They got you. Yeah, they got me yeah. too, man. That urban legend, man, they got me. You know, I was in the New Orleans, Malachi York guy, man, he wrote it in the book. John Hans was the first black president, and he showed that uh, he showed that congressman from uh, from Libya, showed that picture, right? And he said, "Yeah, go to the Library of Congress and say you go there, you be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know that taught me a valuable lesson, man, because me and my wife fought like battle royale over the subject. You know, she went back to her college professors. We went all into the um, Continental Congress. Man, I fought for about a week, man. I was like, man. Then, I, then, then when I dug a little bit deeper, man, and it was certain things I started to find out, and it kind of broke my heart, man. But it was too late. I had helped spread the lie to you, man. Told the <laughs> little children, yo, to go to school. They run around telling they teach about John Ham Hansen. I'm, you know what I mean, yo? It was a terrible, terrible day in my household, man. I got joked for that, man. And I vowed from that point on, man, that, you know what I'm saying, I would not help spread the myth, yo. <laughs> then anything that I said out of my mouth first, you know what I mean, I would actually sit back and do a detailed study on it, you know what I mean, to make sure, yo, I was not spreading a lie. What's good, Smash Rock? What's up with it? And we talking about John Hanson, Hanson though, baby. What was your experience with John Hanson? Did you have that experience? Cause I had that bad experience with John Hanson. I, I didn't. I didn't run around screaming that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about it, but I, I I be suspicious of that black allergy shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, look, man, I had to tell my children, yo, my my little cousins, they going to school, they telling the teachers, their mothers getting phone calls. Look, man, I learned a valuable lesson from that shit, man. Never ever. Never ever open your mouth about information, not unless you are absolutely sure, yo, that you know what the hell you talking about, man. So yeah. Well, when, yeah. I, when I seen the photo the first time, it wasn't it wasn't a drawing; it was a photo, and I knew photographs wasn't out at the time period that oh. they were talking about. So I'm like, they tripping, man. They no photos from that period. <laughs> <laughs> In the what, the twenties or the thirties or so? I don't know when the camera came out. It might but it wasn't that old. The eighteen hundred, yeah, I got the dates for all that, man. See, I ain't know that little small piece. That's the piece that got me. When I realized it, I was like, oh man. So, you know, I did the video on John Hansen, right? So I wanna kinda like go like 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 go over some of the um over the comments, man, that I got that I received, man. Like the guy, Yashi Wash Ben Yada, he say, so who is that on the back of the $2 bill, huh? Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Like he's saying something slick, right? So we're going to go over the $2 bill. We're going to look on the back of that, and we're going to determine whether that's a black person on the back of the $2 bill. And for this particular for this particular lecture, to show you how weak the John Hansen thing is, yo, we're going to use all Wikipedia. We're going to watch the Encyclopedia Wikipedia 
beat that bullshit up. All right. Okay. Then I get a person, uh, Don Old Truth Seeker. So he's a truth seeker. He says, This is downside of YouTube. They allow dumb, uneducated niggas like this to post this video. What's that noise? Uh, God damn. Hey, Smash Rock. Oh, what's up? I was talking to my daughter. We ain't live, is we? Yeah, we live. Oh, my bad. Let me feel that. Hold on. <laughs> All right, so that's a comment from the video I did on John Hansen, right? He's calling me a dumb, uneducated Negro. All right. I ain't gonna tell you what I wrote. How long he called you? A dumbass, how long he called you a dumb, uneducated Negro for not believing John Hanson was black? Yes, yes, absolutely. This is the origin truth seeker. He said, "This is." I'm ready to get. Say, "This is the downside of YouTube. They allow dumb, uneducated Negroes like this to post videos." So now I'm dumb and I'm uneducated. All right. <laughs> then Robert uh, C Stack or, 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 or Sin Stack say. He can't even read. All right. He hit me with that one. Yeah. I can read good enough to know that John Hansen shit was corny. Then Isaiah Wallace, he goes on to say, this nigga is ignorant and doesn't know anything. John Hansen was the first black president. <laughs> yeah, boy, I tell you. Let me see. Um. Maybe I should show my screen. Hold on. I can show my screen in these comments, can I? No, I ain't going to show my screen. I ain't going to make them that fan. Then Heather Jones is a sister. She says, this fool is what I call a S silly, simple, stupid, sick, and it's so sad. Man, all because I want to tell the truth about John Hansen. Heather Jones, you need to stop it, sis. Don't quit your day job. Let me go on. All right? Um... Then of course I get uh I get a, a positive comment. It say thank you for focusing some light on the situation. Both people were named John Hansen. So as he says, the photographic process has not been invented until 1839. The black man in the photograph is actually the government official of Libya. Absolutely. You know what I mean? You said that, brother Jonathan. Okay, let me go down to here. This says White boy Wendy Hall says, what a load of crap. Screw you, real black atheist. Damn. Huh. Okay. Then another nigga say, cuz, take a seat. <laughs> it say, people have lived longer than you have said, have said so. Right? He say, as well as there is proof. Why would this man be on the back of the $2 bill? Not always what you have been been processed to learn is what is real. What? Mm, mm, mm. Then the person asking, what's this foolish shit? Right? Foolish shit is that crap that people are trying to promote that John Hans was a black president. You was going to say something, Smash? A quick question. I guess since he was on the back, on the back of the $2 bill or whatever that make him the president, was he the only one on the back of the $2 bill? No, they're trying to say that the guy that John Hans was on the back of the two dollar bill, but I'm gonna kill that myth because everybody. But even following their logic, he would have uh, been by himself, like other presidents, correct? He's right. surrounded by two hundred people, so I don't get it. What, what president got a picture like that on the dollar? I, I surrounded by two hundred people. I have no idea. Maybe, maybe they're trying to say that black man is on the back of the two dollar bill or something. I don't. I have no understanding. I don't. Then this guy, Christopher. Uh, Henderson says, this clown talks like he's from D.C. I'm <laughs> from Baltimore, fool. Who funds Who funds this ignorant black ass? Hmm, Illuminati puppet. So now I'm an Illuminati puppet. <laughs> it says, this is just a technicality. John Hansen ran, ran the country at that time. He was the first. Sad, sad, sad. Man. Then... Malcolm Sanders says, this nigga can't even talk. Man, I can't even talk. Man, okay. Okay. 
Um, he said, oh, you dumb fuck. Reading from European books, you monkey shit. <laughs> wow. Okay, so there you have it, all right? We got my YouTube fans there, right, banging on me. Then, then you got John Collins says, I wonder who payroll he's on. Man. Wow. Then Charles Gray said, you're an idiot. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, there's a lot of hate going around on that John Hanson topic right there. Um, so it's very, very, very interesting how they did that, right? And for the life of me, I can't imagine why people wouldn't take it a little bit further and study. And I understand where they're coming from because, like I said, they got me on that shit too. All right? Let me read this little information for you, right? And so we kind of understand how the myth kind of started, right? You you got people like Dick Gregory. Dick Gregory's going around. He's still propagating John Hampson. Stop it, Dick. Stop it, bro. Stop propagating the myth, all right? Malachi York's followers, stop it. Stop promoting the myth, right? Let me read this. It says, John Hanson, who held the office that was known officially as the President of the United States and Congress assembled from November 5th, 1781 to November 4th, 1782. Died in November 1783, long before the invention of photography. Hmm, once again, that's a very important fact. If you don't know that, you'll get caught up like me and a couple other brothers on a, <laughs> on a hangout. They say the American, they say the African American man in the photography, in the photograph that you saw on those websites, because you know those websites are actually promoting that, right? You can put it in the search engine, John Hanson was a black president, and you'll get website supporting this, right? Instead that you saw on the website, could not have been John Hanson, and we're going to go into this. It says the possibility remains, right? I'm going to go a little deeper for a second. It says the possibility remains that John Hanson in question had one or more African ancestors. Yeah, because then people will say, yeah, 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 but John Hanson, even if that, well, he wasn't black, that John Hanson had African ancestors. And this is the thing they'll try to prove on. They say, either known or not known, right? They say to his colleagues or even to himself. John Bruce Kramer, one of Hanson's biographers, right, states that Hanson's grandfather and his three brothers emerged in 1642 from Sweden to the relatively to the recently formed New Sweden settlement on the Delaware River with newly appointed Governor John Prince Kramer points out that one of Hanson's brother Andrew had the same name as Andrew Hanson Freeman right this is the word the Moors be trying to use like as Freeman meaning free man or free slave well, let's do a little more investigation. Freeman, who once worked as a farmhand for the New Sweden land Landauer and military leader, Lieutenant Mays Kling, the owner of the tobacco plantation on Susa Kill. Hmm. Whether this Andrew was the same man as John Hansen, great uncle, must be a matter of conjecture, Kramer concludes. One could conjecture, therefore, that John Hansen had an African ancestor, as he may have been related to a man described as a free man. All right, that's F R E E M A N. Boys be trying to trick y'all with this word. Watch this. That is a freed black slave. Yet, the term freeman, in the context of 17th century New Sweden colony, did not indicate a freed black slave, as one might assume. See, we run around a lot of assumptions, and you'll hear these moors say that John Hanson was a black or more. He was a freed man. Huh. As one might assume, they say, according to George B. King of the Historical Society in Pennsylvania, who has researched and written about the New Sweden County, the freemen, right? So called because. They had settled in the colony entirely of their own will and might leave it at their 
I, and may leave it at that option. Held land grant them in free territory, not taxed, which they cultivated for themselves. Being aided also by the Swedish West Indian Company with occasional gifts and money, food and remnant. Such freemen were distinguished from criminals forced to leave Sweden who had to work for a few years in New Sweden before they were classified as freemen. Those who believe that John Hansen was black may argue that this signing of the proclamation of the freemen of Maryland leads credence to the claim of African heritage. The freemen of Maryland, however, was not an association, was not an association of freed black slaves, but of men advocating resistance to what they perceived as British tyranny in the period that led to the colonists break from England. On July 26, 1775, the freemen of Maryland resolved that the American colonies be put into a state of defense and approved armed resistance against the British troops. Well, there you have it right there. Now we know who the freemen really was. Ain't have nothing to do with slaves that were free. The Moors need to stop that. Need to put all that to rest with that foolishness. Now, see, that's very, very interesting how they did that. Hmm. So what I want to do real quick, right, I'm going to come to the Wikipedia joint real fast, right? I'm going to put it on the screen real quick. All right? I'm going to get this out of here real fast. What's up, Brother DJ? Respect, Brother Hotep. Hotep, black African power, man. All right? Trying to dispel the myth of the John Haskin foolery. Hey, I'll put a rest of that with the with the with the Wikipedia blicky. Alright, so this is talking about John Hansen, right? And uh, of course y'all can see the photo of the John Hansen right here. Alright. Get a minute to pop up. There you go. Uh, yeah. Okay? It's the white boy. It's the actual painting of him, right? And so we got brothers and sisters claiming that this particular guy is the wrong John Hansen, right? You hear him say it all the time, okay? That's not the truth. This is actually the John Hansen, okay? So I just dispelled the myth, right, of his uh, grandfather, okay? And I explained exactly what that term meant. So the Moors won't actually trick you. So it's say John Hansen, right? Born in April 14th or April 3rd. Hold on, let me, hold on, let me get back up real quick. A little background is John Hansen, so we can distinguish between the two. Okay? Was born in 17th, between no, April 14th, 1721, November 15th, uh, 1783. That's when he died. Was a merchant and a public uh, official from Maryland during the era of American Revolution. Okay, after serving in a variety of roles for the Patriot cause in Maryland in 1779, Hansen was elected as a delegate to the Continental Congress. He signed the Article of Confederation in 1781 after Maryland finally joined the other states and ratifying them. They say in November 1781, he was elected president of the Continental Congress. Okay, and became the first president to serve a one-year term under the provisions of the Article of, Consider uh, of Confederation. While George Washington is universally recognized by historians as the first president of the United States, formed under the United States Constitution, some biographies, some some biographies of Hansen have made the unconventional argument that Hansen was the first holder of the office. Well, there we have it. And let's move on now. And so we got the John Hansen guy, right? The white guy. Right? Okay. Let's go to the Continental Congress is real fast. So we can get a little educated on that. He said the president of the Continental Congress was presiding officer of the Continental Congress. It said the convention 
of the delegates that emerged as the first national government of the United States during the American Revolution. The president was a member of the Congress elect by other delegates to serve as an impartial moderator during the meetings of Congress, designed to be largely ceremonial position without much influence. The office was unrelated to the later office of the President of the United States. So stop running around, hollering, screaming, talking about John Hanson was the first president, or Barack Obama was. No, no, I don't want to hear all that, man, because that's basically what you're doing. They running and running their mouth. Okay, let's get into this a little bit now. All right. Okay. I want to get into the first myth, okay? This is dealing with that, that dollar bill, two dollar bill. Y'all can see that, right? Yeah, we see it. We see it. Yeah, we see it. And this is the two dollar bill. They'll argue you down to the cows come home, howling and screaming about the black man on the back of the two dollar bill. Okay. Right here is what they're talking about. Now, anything, anybody know anything about um, using prints? Uh, when they when they make these prints for these dollar bills or whatever they use dollar bills, right? They use a, a, a art technique called hatching and cross hatching. You can see the lines in that. See if I can blow this up a little bit bigger for you. I just want to get into the detail. On it. Give me one second. Let it get here. Right, right here. The scenes to be a little darker than the rest of them, but it's based off the shape. Ah, wow, we'll see. Mm. All right, if, as we got in, got in a little bit closer, you can actually see the actual. Uh, that's a little bit too damn close. Let me see. Oh. As we gotten very close to this, let me see. I want I want to zoom in on the guy y'all. They claiming to be black. One of these two, right? When you get close up on it, you see that it ain't really black. If you look at the lines, right? I'm an artist, right? We call this hatching and cross hatching. See the lines of darkness on their face? That's hatching and cross hatching. It's like the light is coming from here, right? And the darkness is on that side. Okay, but you can clearly see that this is not a black man. Based off of that. Oh. Definitely not. They're white folks, straight up. Right. Mm -hmm. So I just want to dispel that myth, but I ain't finished yet because the, the thing that's very interesting is that, that on the back of this two dollar bill, hold on, let it come through. On the back of the two dollar bill, right? Hold on. on. The back of the two dollar bill is actually, hold on. Coming to focus. One second. On the back of this two dollar bills, here we go again, right? They try to that that's supposed to be the black person. All right, y'all see all that, right? Okay, now, but this is actually this this the part that make you foolish, right? If you don't do your investigation, because the reality of the situation is that it's really those who signed the Declaration of Independence. Look, the Declaration of Independence in 1776. And so they have a list, right, of people that actually signed the Declaration of Independence. And not only that, what I want to show you is, I want to actually show you the actual picture the Declaration of Independence. Let me let me show you that. Uh, here you go, the Declaration of Independence by John Thumble. Let's see. And it actually has the names, right, of the people on the back of that. They got the list. So let's get a nice, clear picture of the Declaration of Independence by John Thumble. Remember, this is where they got it from. Let's see if we see the black guy, John Hanson. First of all, we'll use our eyes first. Right before we even get into the detail of the actual names, because if you're saying that John Hansen is on a absolutely, then then his name should be written. But let's look at the picture. Here's the guy in question again. 
He's just in, he's in the shade. He's in shade. Look, see the floor? See the shade? So you got light coming in from here. I'm an artist. I'm telling you what the painter did. He has the light coming in from up here somewhere, right? Okay? So you have your darker areas. And this particular figure is the one in question, right? We showed you on the back of the trail to build the up close. wasn't the black person, right? These are all the people that, quote, unquote, signed the bill, all right? That's going a little bit closer. Let's kill the myth. Let's kill that town foot. Man, I tell you, boy. Oh, got a little bit closer. There you go again. See that little light shining on our head? He's in shade. It's not a black person. I want a little, little bit closer. Look at this. See? Face up here lighter, darker down there. Because the light is coming from over here somewhere. All right? The light is coming from back here. And it's shining towards them, right? So obviously he's in shade behind these characters. He's sitting down. Oh my goodness gracious! Here we go up close. Oh, now you see the shade on the head. See the shade? See the light hitting that? That is not a black person. Stop fooling the community. Checkmate. Checkmate. Cut it out. This is the actual painting of the Declaration of Independence. Here's the person that they keep saying was the black man, John Hanson. So now we had to spell the myth of the actual picture of the black man on the back of the $2 bill. That's not a black man. That's a white man with shade on his face based off of the fact that he's sitting down behind these gentlemen right here. Cut it out. This is crystal clear. All right? This is not hard. You see everybody in this picture. All right? I understand, man, because I, I got faked out and fooled. So I'm not coming as a person to think that you couldn't have got tricked. I'm saying now that the cat's out of the bag, stop teaching your children that foolishness. Stand up and keep that shit real. Because for people to continue after seeing this, say that John Hansen's on the back of the $2 bill, right, and he's the uh, first black president, man, it's a lie, man. Because you're fighting for history. Like Brother Johnson said, you're looking for that black, what you call it, Jonathan? The black, black allergy or something. Black allergy, man. Black allergy. We just <laughs> make everything black. <laughs> Yay, there you have it. So y'all looking at that. That's the figure in question. He's in shade. His face, that's actually the shade from the men sitting around him on his face. You actually see the light hitting it there to prove that's a white man. So what we're going to do is, since people don't believe a picture's worth a thousand words, now, this is checkmate for a certain. All right, and checkmate, this is a new game for checkmate. Now we want to see, well, who actually signed the declaration? If that black man named John Hansen was on the back of the child bill, then John Hansen's name should appear on the back of, should appear in the Declaration of Independence. Because they got their signatures to a man. All right, we go. Oh, man. People can't even get past the goddamn Wikipedia. But you can't get past Wikipedia. Declaration of Independence. A little bit bigger here. There you go. Ha! It's funny, too, while we at it. He <laughs> Each one of these men, each one of these men got numbers on them. The numbers actually match the name. That's the one number sixteen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do an intermission for all the people who was calling you names and being stupid in the chat room. I know they feeling real crunchy right now, but go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talk crazy, right? All these numbers, right? Tell you who the names of these people were, right here, right? So let's see. Let's see who's really in there. All right. I know I know John Hancock is in there. And y'all know put your John Hancock where that came from. That's because he, he signed his name the largest on the document. That's where you get put your John Hancock. So you got George, which is Wayne, Wayne from Virginia. You got William Whipple. <laughs> Josh Barnett. Let me move on to some 
some hand. Let me see some Johns on. Let me see Benjamin Harris from Virginia. Thomas Lynch. Richard Henry Lee from Virginia. Samuel Adams. You know that commercial, that big? Yep, that's the Samuel Adams right there. George Clinton. That ain't the George Clinton of modern president, but that's a George Clinton. And he has a star behind his name. So I don't even think he was he appeared in that picture. You got William Pacer. Samuel Chase, Lewis Morris. Hold on. It say there were 56 signs of the Declaration of Independence. Say the painting portrayed only 47. All right. Okay, let's see. You got uh, Arthur Middleton, South Carolina, Thomas Hayward, Charles Carroll, George Walton, Robert Morris, Thomas Willing, Benjamin Rush, Elsbury Gary, Robert Tree Payne. Abraham Clark, Stephen Hawkins, <laughs> Williams Ellery. I don't know. I ain't John Harrison. You got George Klamer, Pennsylvania. You got William Harper, Joseph Hughes, James Williams, Francis Hopkins, John, hey, nope, John Adams, <laughs> Roger. Sermon, Robert R. Livingston, Thomas Jefferson, y'all know who Thomas Jefferson is, Benjamin Franklin, y'all know who it is, Richard Stockton, and Francis Lewis. Oh, man, let's go right here. Thomas Nelson, Francis Lightfoot Lee, Carter Braxton, John Hank, nope, John Penn, not John Hankins. <laughs> Hold on, you got George Taylor. George Ross, Caesar Rodney, Tom Stone, still no John Hanson. Going down the list with you. Uh, Matthew Thornton, John Hat, nope, John Hart, sorry. John Hat, nope, John Morton, sorry, and James Smith. There you have it. That's all the names on there with numbers, body names. Now I'm going to do something that's even slicker. They just sat around and made this up, right, to confuse black people. Couldn't quite imagine them spending that kind of money. Let me see if I can get to it. I think I can actually uh, uh, key historical figures depicted in the painting. Click to identify. Click the corresponding auto. Click with image. Let me see. I'm thinking this one, I might be able to click and get straight to the face, to the name. Hold on, let me see. Let me see if there's one right here real fast for y'all. Mm -hmm. That file load on there real quick. Um, so we know a picture's worth a thousand words, right? Okay, now I'm thinking of this one. All right. Um... Okay, let me click on this face right here. Let me see if that works. Let me see. I'm clicking on the one that everybody claim to be black, the paint. No, this ain't the one. Hold on. I'm gonna go to the one. It's a it's a program on here that allows you to click on each face that will actually take you to their name. Hold on. That ain't the one. Oh, let's double check, man. You gotta go there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After this show, everybody will know the name of that person, and it will be the myth to be dispelled. Right. That's just what I'm gonna do. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Uh, uh, It'll be after the third one on the left. If we go to the number, huh? If we go to the number chart, it'll be after the third person on the left sitting down. Third person on the left sitting down. Um, yeah, let me see. I think I can just, is the one I can just click? Let me see, though. Oh, man. Five man drive. Hold on. Well, let's get the actual name. Hold on. Um, uh, the key historical figures, no. Well, I, be, I might be able to do it like this. Let me see. No. You said the third one on the left. I know. Go ahead. Let me. He'll be, he'll be after the third one on the left. You got three sitting down, then he's like cat a corner. 
so he'll be like the fourth one on the left, but he'll be after the third one. All right, we're going to get his actual name. Hold on. I think he's from Georgia. Hey, you might be right. Hold on. We'll get him. I just go to the one with the numbers on their head real quick. We'll get right to it. But I think they was. I, I, I had it earlier where I could actually do the color one. Go right to their face. That's okay. All right, we'll go right to this. Just show that one. Hold on. I think that's number 14, right? Right here, right? That's 14. Yeah, number 14. 14. Number 14. Okay, number 14. Let's see who number 14 is. All right. Huh. Interesting. I mean, it's a shame I got to go through all this. Our people has been so thoroughly in green. Here you go, Thomas Hayward from South Carolina. Dang. Hold on. Why I did that? Thomas Haywood Jr. Hold on to me one more time. Hey, you go, Thomas Haywood Jr. from South Carolina. Number 14 matches up with that right there. That's him. And just so y'all ain't trying to trick out 14, 15, and 16. Let's see. 14 is Thomas Haywood. 15 is Charles Carroll from Maryland, okay? And 16 is George Walton from Georgia. All right? So there you have it. There is no way around this, okay? Stop it. Stop teaching your children that. Cut it out, okay? Now, let's get you the picture that got everybody up in arms. Hold on. Where's the, where's the picture that got everybody up in arms here? No, that's not the one. Hold on. Let's get you that black John Hanson picture. I can find that real quick. Hold on one second. That's the, there you go. This is the one that got us all up in all up in uh, got us all up in arms. There you go. This is the one that we all fell for. Hook, line, and sinker. There you have it. Senator John Hanson. Senator John Hanson. See? That's the one that they showed you those books. People bought books based off that. You know what I'm saying? This is town forum, right? <laughs> and like Brother John said, there wasn't any photography during this time. There you go. That's the one they got you with. Okay? That's the John Hanson they got you with. Cut it out. Come off that. Go tell your family, oh, you just was wrong. Yo, we can be wrong. I'm trying to sort it out history. Ain't nothing wrong with being wrong. You know, when you're wrong, say you're wrong. When I was wrong, I said I was wrong. I found myself to be wrong on some things. I admit it, and I just let it go. I just was wrong. Shit. Ain't nobody perfect in this thing right here that we call wanting to, trying to dig up our history. It says John Hanson. A little bit big for y'all. It says John Hanson. Was, it's 1860. Look at it, listen to the dates. Say, so was an African American associated with the African Colonization Society, which sought to relocate back to back, relocate black Americans to Libya. Okay? So this brother within itself, you know what I'm saying, was a part of the American uh, Colonization Society. So he's doing work, but they kill his whole work by making him something he never was. So you never learn about this black man, okay? It said he served as a senator from Grand uh, uh, Bossy County. Senator Hanson, right, has recently been confused with an earlier John Hanson, a white politician from Maryland who served as president of the Continental Congress during the American Revolution, according to the urban myth. <laughs> urban myth, man. Yeah, you know how the urban myth is. Yeah, if you drive by a person and flash your lights, right, you'll get shot. 
They just trying to trick you so they can drive a boy and get shoot you. That's an urban myth. John Hanson Merlin was actually black. It say, let me see it again. According to this urban myth, John Hanson Merlin was actually black and also the president of the United States. Internet sites promoting the hoax. They got y'all with the hoax. Use a, a photographer, the photography of, of Senator John Hanson of Libya to support the claim, even though photography had not yet been invented in the early John Hansen living. It has not been invented when the earlier John Hansen was living. And they give you the reference right there. Audrey Peterson, Black History Urban Legends, American Legacy, March 6, 2009. Assessed October 18th. The next reference, uh, Giveson Allen. Was there an African American president before Barack Obama? Mm. There you go. There's two references on that, right? Say, Wikipedia reports that photography was commercially introduced in 1839, a date generally accepted as the birth year of practical photography. Hmm. Well, right here, this word right here, daggural type. That's what that is. And that was invented by a Frenchman. There is no John Hansen, the white guy born, then he's dead already by the time this particular photography process was brought into being. I always pronounce that wrong. Let me see if we can get something on that real quick. We'll get Pacific now. Specific. See exactly what that is. Well, they don't have that. But this is that drag. This is dag guru type. All right. I guess it's drag old type of Lewis. Well, that that's that's the same type of stuff that was used with John Hansen. That's the dag girl type. Uh, also called dag girl type. He introduced in 1839. Was the first was first publicly announced photograph process and the first to come into widespread use. By the early 1860s, later processes, which were less expensive, had less expensive, hold on, left it, by the early 1860s, later process, which were less expensive and produced more easily, easily viewed image, hold on, where am I at? Easily viewed images, by almost entirely, were almost entirely replaced. Replaced it. A small scale rival of Dago type amongst photographers interested in historical processes was increasingly apparent during 18, 1980 and 1990 and has persisted into 2010. Mm -hmm. Keep reading that, but that's the actual type right there. I'm gonna just show y'all that. So you know, huh, very interesting. There's no way around this. You know, you just got to give that shit up. It's over with. It's just some old checkmate mode at this particular point. So there we have it. We had a two dollar bill, right? Actual name of the person on the two dollar bill, okay? Because the name of the person on the back of the two dollar bill wasn't John Hanson. This is complete checkmate, right? So we know for sure that there wasn't a black man on the back of the $2 bill because we have all the names of the people that was on the back of the $2 bill. It's written. You can look it up in any library of worth, right? You can use Google shit. You can use the encyclopedia, Wikipedia. You can get the reference. You can check all that. And the only place you'll find a pseudo history about John Hansen being black is amongst those who just refuse to let it go. So as they name, call, and talk trash about the work being presented, where's your information? Show me something different that's on the back of the $2 bill. Okay. Show me, show me the picture of this quote unquote black John Hansen. And don't show me the picture of the senator from Libya. Where's the evidence at? All right? 
So I just want to kind of show y'all how we get tripped up and trying to fight hard for black people. Take your time. You know what I'm saying? We all been down that road. And that's why we developed the Armour Raw Squad, right? We break the myths. Right? We break the myths from both sides of the house. Because we know at the end of the day that knowing the truth will give us the ability, right, to work towards our freedom. And as long as we tell our families the truth, we can start to build strong families. And as we build strong families, we'll, we'll develop a platform that black people in America and abroad can go to to raise a level of understanding of the world around them. And when you raise a level of understanding, right, of the world around you, you start to see things differently. And when you start to see the things differently, you get to see the world for what it really is. And when you see the world for what it really is, you see how far we are behind. But we don't need to lie to do that. We can start to break the myths. Like, for instance, why is it now that black people are the face of everything wrong to do? So now if you beat your wife, you Ray Rice him. You know what I'm saying? So Ray Rice is the face of domestic abuse. Are you kidding me? White people been beating their wives since the cave days. Okay? That's not an African custom and tradition to beat their woman. That's an Islamic custom. That's a Hebrew custom. That's a Christian custom to undermine the black woman or to undermine the woman in general. That's the warrior male murder code custom to degrade the women. Okay? Also, the face of homosexuality is now black people. First NFL player. Right? He's not the first. Let's get this straight. He is not the first gay person to be in the NFL. Let's cut that out. He's the first quote unquote openly gay person. Okay? Had hundreds of gay black people to play NFL football. You know what I'm saying? So cut that out. Then you got this the myth that I know a lot of people feed into. You got the brother, the running back from the Vikings, Adrian Peterson, right? And Adrian Peterson now, he's the face of child abuse. And you'll hear black people say, well, you know, we was raised to beat our children like that. Yeah, down south you beat the church. The church says spare the rod, spare the child, or some corrupt, some nonsense they got in the Bible. Let me establish this. It is not an African custom and tradition to beat your children. Okay? And so when you beat your children like that, you're really mimicking slave behavior that was taught to you in slavery when the slave master came with the whip and beat you down. It's not an African custom and tradition. If you're in a cold ice region where the fire is valuable and the fire can't go out, if your son let that fire go out, you might beat him down to the very last compound because for the fire to go out, it would put the whole family in jeopardy of freezing to death that night. And they might not get a good thunderstorm to strike them up a good fire for months. So if the fire went out, they might just kill your ass. Beat you down. But in Africa, you know what I'm saying, when you made mistakes, it's teaching tools. They have myths to teach the children. You know what I'm saying? But to take weapons with sticks and branches, yo, that's something that was downloaded into our consciousness. That has absolutely nothing to do with how original black people or black people treated their children. So time out with all that. And y'all need to stop saying, yeah, well, you know, we beat our children. No, no, your mother them beat you down because they was ignorant of understanding how to how to deal with a child. That's why they beat you down like that. And, and they did it through their ignorance, not through understanding and not not through understanding African culture. So don't tell me now that all of a sudden white people know the best way to raise their children is not to beat them. We've been understood that. So cut that out. So let's stop being the face of foolery, right? We can't even put out good information when people is promoting the foolery. Because people say, oh, here they go again with that nonsense. Here they go again. I don't want to hear that black stuff. Because here they go. Yeah, because too many people playing the moral card, you more is getting locked up, jumping in houses they can't afford and taking them in. And just foolishness, man. 
Black Hebrews on the corner howling and screaming with kung fu outfits on. How about they the black Hebrews? Foolishness. Comedic people running around, Dalai Lama themselves to death, looking half crazy, not stand, not not being true Africans. Anybody know if you're along the Nile Valley, you got to be pretty thorough to exist that long. So we didn't got people softening up the comedic thing. Like to be a comedic person now is to be the Dalai Lama and you hum, hum. Get out of here with that. <laughs> Foolishness, man. Peace and love and blessings. Foolishness. So to be African is to be proud. And to be proud is to understand who you are and what you are. But I don't want to hear that black people can't protect themselves. Either. Well, you know, we wasn't really, you know, we wasn't fighting. Europeans always fighting. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Black people will fight when they got to. We have re a good damn reason for fighting and killing. Trust me when I tell you this. We wasn't just murdering shit for no reason. But you could get murdered. We're going to protect our babies. We're going to murder you. We're going to protect our land. We will murder you. We're going to protect our laws and governing systems, right? You go against the order. You do something to them children and babies. Your ass is grass. But we wasn't just shooting buffalo to shoot buffalo. They come over to this country, right, steal the whole continent, and just shoot the buffalo for no reason. They wasn't trying to skin them for their hides. They wasn't trying to use them for food supply. They was simply just shooting Buffalo, and they knew that the native tribes was following the buffalo for food, clothing, and shelter, but they just shot them and laid them dead anyway. That's called murder for no damn reason. That's what they do. They develop a bomb to destroy human populations simply because they could do it. So let's cut it out. Ahead, that's, you want to add no, just saying, that's, that's correct um, with the killing of the buffalo um, like you said about um, uh, us as ancient peoples back in ancient times we did fight the Hyksos and stuff like that I forgot what the, the thing is there's a carving on the wall in Kemet where it shows uh, what's the bloody thing uh, who is it I it's can't remember I mean, that's no, it no 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 that's the, no it's called uh, this yeah, and he's handing him the um, is it the blade or the sickle or something like that? Yeah, he the head off his head. Yeah, defend the, the um, you've done well. You've defended the nation. You defended the homeland of Kemet. That's that ancient carving in the wall. One of the carvings, should I say? Yeah, uh, the little uh, um, yeah, I can't believe I'm forgetting this. Is it, 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 it's is the normal palette? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I got that one from General Seti because he brought it out on one video that I see on YouTube. So I was like, yeah, for real. Yeah, if you, if you had a chance, check out the class we did on the Amara Squad. Brother Jonathan did the actual breakdown. He did the okay. translation of it. Okay, cool. Did a whole class on that. You know, absolutely. And so, you know, we see that, that we just want to come break the myths. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. uh, it, it makes absolutely you no know, sense for us to continue. Um, along these lines, um, it makes absolutely no sense to do that. Agreed. Got to stay in. Uh, Got to stay focused on what it is we want to do, and how it is we want to do it. And we got to stop fighting through the lies, man. We got to fight through the lies and stop accepting lies and stop being lazy, right? Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I, we was all caught up on the John Hanson thing. <laughs> But I mean, hey man, ain't nothing wrong with 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 um making a mistake, you know what I'm saying, and then coming back and changing it. Nothing wrong with that, you know. I just want everybody to understand that nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. So whenever we make mistakes in our story, we want to fix it and keep it moving. But. Y'all still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I think Unk got booted. Yeah, he got booted. I seen where his uh his screen was like slowing up. 
He should be coming back in because he still got it live. What's going on there, brother? Be up. Respect, Hotep. How you doing, man? Respect. How's it going? How's it going? Everybody doing well today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir. Yes, yeah, same here. Same here. How's the weather over there in England? Um, it's in between. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's, it's cloudy. It's wet, and then it sun comes out. Is uh, bullshit. <laughs> For lack of better words. Y'all hear me? Yes. Yeah, we got brother you. Uncle. You. Please continue. You. Oh, can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Okay, all right. What's up, bud? Hello, sir. How are you? How you doing, man? When you get in here? You been in here for a minute? Pardon me? How long you been in here? I've been in here since about 8.30, 8.34, I believe, so I got about 20 minutes or so in. Mm. You seen the pictures? Did you see the pictures and stuff we presented? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Of the John Hansen thing? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, we wanted yep. to make sure... What, what, what is the subject matter of the of the hangout? What what, what is the topic? John Hanson okay. revisited, letting people know that he wasn't the black president. <laughs> That's the myth. Cool, cool, cool. We're in a lot of circles. Go ahead, brother. Basically, brother Onk has just smashed that to pieces because we've just seen visual evidence that that dude number fourteen is it, brother Onk? Is clearly yeah. a one. Yeah, so because he's got a shadow over his face that they're trying to placate him, like, yeah, he's a black man. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Not at all. The DJ, so I see your DJ. I see the records behind you. Yeah. Yeah, look. Okay. Yeah, real DJ right there, rocking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I hear you, man. We got to hear some of that music, man. You got any mixtapes? I've got a couple of mixtapes. Onk, if you go on my um my timeline, you'll see them on there somewhere. <clears throat> you got me on Facebook as Gambler Gams. That's who I am. Hey, send it to me, man. Send 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 that to me. All right, cool. What's that? Um, let me mute my microphone. I'll do it now. Yeah, send it to you, man. So, send it to me, man. You know, I, I enjoy listening to music, man. Prime strike, dude. I know I got kicked out there. So what's going on there with you, bud? Uh, nothing much, man. I was, you know, I, I was out doing my thing. I, I'm, I'm, you know, uh, I was reading when you sent me that text about the hangout. I'm reading a book called The History of America, and uh, so I, I was into that. And then when you sent me the text, so I had to jump on my bike and jet here and, and catch what I could catch. So I'm happy to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've been on since about, I don't know, we got about a good hour in right now. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so I'm about, I kind of like finish up with that, with the John Hansen thing, man. I want to throw that in, man. Y'all make sure y'all check that Sunday school class out tomorrow, right? Now, I mean, y'all know, I know I keep saying every Sunday, but I'm going to get in here early Sunday. I promise you. So what time? I'll be here. Yeah, it's yeah, we're going to rock out about like 10.30, I believe, 10.30, 11, all right? We're going to go ahead and get that in. we got a real powerful one um, set up for tomorrow. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be pretty good. So, you know, I hope y'all in there, you know, and check that one out. You know, the sister be on board. Um, it's just going to be that powerful. Let me see. You send that to me, brother? Yeah, just send you a message on it on Facebook. Okay, I see. Okay, okay. And you can right. download them as well. All right, Let me check that out, man. Is that is that like original music you put together, or just, no, just mix the music? Just just tunes, just vinyl that I've played put together, mix and blend. Okay, okay, all right. So you got all that vinyl. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, I make y'all know I know I can say something, but I'm gonna get it here first. Oh man, that's me doing that. Let me see. Oh man, yeah, we gonna rock out about like ten thirty, I believe. Yeah, how I did that, man? Y'all hear that though? All right. Damn. All right. Let me see. 
Okay, so if anybody else got nothing to add, man, we can close this one out, man. Anybody got anything to add? Any questions? Yes, I have a question. Uh, uh, tomorrow's uh, Sunday school. What is the topic? Do you have? Oh, man. Black women, not black women, uh, uh, feminist, uh, sister, has a sisterhood fed into the feminist movement. All right? All right, cool. So I, I think what we're going to show is, is that a lot of black women has, has actually accepted the feminist movement, right? You know, if you start saying that you can have a baby without a man, you're a feminist. If you start thinking a black woman is a god without the man being a god, you're a feminist. You know what yeah. I'm saying? There is, in, in Africa, there's always a balance right there, right? And I kind of want to go to Africa and show you where they got a dual governing system now, where women govern and men govern. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm gonna yeah. bring that out, okay? Uh, I, I'm, I mean, it's just important because you'll find a lot of women in the conscious community went way to the damn left. You know, by the time Natural Jehudi banged that drum so hard, right? He banged them all the way to the. He knocked them out of balance. Where they run around thinking they don't need no man. Like, like, what part of African family is that? Yeah, I mean, what part of family in itself is that? I mean. Just a woman, or just a man with a child, or something, you know. Right. Yeah, that's not that's not African at all. That's that's fully feminist. Right? No, no, and so no. yeah, we you know it's gonna be real. It's gonna be real detailed. You know, we do. It's gonna be important. And because there's a lot of myths in that too, you know. And so yeah. we just want to always keep it solid, and we want to always uh, keep the information. Uh, right, exactly. You know what I mean? that, that, that's what we great. What's up, Travis? Hey, what's going on, brother? Black African Power, how you doing, man? Doing all right, Black African Power to you too, brother. All right, man. You kind of like, you came into the end at the end, bro. That was, that was, that's my bad, man. I just received the message on uh, Facebook. I just checked it out to see what was going on. That's my fault, though. Hey, don't worry about it, bro, man. You can go back and look at the download, man. No doubt. I definitely But but I, I did, I, I did want to thing in regards to the uh, when you talk about the uh, beatings or the whippings, you know, and and that face of that athlete, you know, was put out there. And and as you say, I do like the fact how you bring it out and you relate it back to where that behavior came from. And then you take it back further, and you and you give you give information that says that behavior was absent in our past prior to that, and that's something that we learn over here through enslavement, and that speaks to a whole different dynamic of the level of violence that we see in our community. I mean, you you can take that and go in other directions with it too, but. Those are behaviors that, and you hit it on the head, man, that was learned during behavior, during slavery, because that wasn't something that was practiced by indigenous African cultures, you know, as well as the religious thing when you look at the Christianity and all that other stuff, you know. We, we had our own system. You know, so I, I do, I, I think that needs to be everything even more because, uh, you know, black folks are almost proud in terms of how they discipline their kids. I, I don't take no mess. I don't do this and I don't do that. And... You know, and I think there's something fundamentally wrong when, when, when the strap is the only thing that's reached for, or as I've seen black families do, walk around with the strap over the shoulder, which is just a form of intimidation and harassment and brutality, in my opinion. But you know, <laughs> I get called soft for that opinion, but that's just the way I see it. Yeah, you know, we used to say, "Go ahead and beat me." That way, it's over with. I go out and play after you beat me. It's over with, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, don't punish you. Take some stuff away. Then you're trying to listen. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, so, yeah. So that, that that beat your kids down, man. I couldn't quite figure out what what a four year old could possibly do. Five year old, seven year old could possibly do that. I want to beat him to he bleed. I, it's nothing. I couldn't think of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah. 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 yeah I, you know. I, I, I agree, you know, and when you look at young kids like that, you know, and they get into things and they do, they're on their job, man. They're on their job. Part of their job is, is, is to experiment and explore their environment, and, and as the adult and the parent, it's up to you to control that environment, you know, and 
control, you know, things with with, with different disciplinary and rules and regulations, you know. So I, I agree with you. I don't know what a four year old could do would make you wanna just uh, just brutalize them like you know. I didn't do that to my children. Yeah, it's part of the socialization, man. Yes, yes. And that's what where that behavior comes from. Yeah, part of the socialization, man. Maniac. As we get the maniac and the berserker, they got tribes called berserkers. <laughs> Literally that. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Stop it. And so, you know, they need to stop making the face of all that foolishness, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just that. It's foolishness. And so yeah. as we step up. Go ahead, brother. No, I'm just saying I agree. It's foolishness. And as you said, you know, you were, you were going on. I was just a, a, a agreeing with you. You know, it's just nonsense. And we got to start using our brains and our minds. And we got to we got to get out of this now. We got to see it for what it really is, man. And and, and that's why I appreciate that you, you put that on the table. Because, uh, again, that, that that's a fundamental to me. That's a foundational. That, that beating thing is, is, is foundational to a lot of other problems we have in our society and our community. I, I, I truly believe that, you know, so. Yeah, it's a, it's a religious thing, too, because they say, spare the rod, spoil the child. Yes. That's the Bible. The Bible say beat your child. Right, right okay, because that's Indo-European practice, beat them up. Yes. You know what I mean? You ain't intelligent enough to talk to them. Punish them, take some things away. Ain't matter of fact, but shit, you it's hard to punish somebody on an ice cap. Ain't shit to do on an ice cap. Hell, you ain't you you ain't doing it but sitting around <laughs> somewhere trying to stay warm or running out trying to hunt something real quick, trying to cut a hole in some ice to get some fish or something. You ain't doing a lot. But there's a lot of shit to do in Africa. You can go swimming. You know what I'm saying? You can go mangoes, you can pick and burn everything you want to do, play. Run for miles. So, so for you to get punishment, man, but you taking a lot away from a person. Person gonna act right. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But hell, I ain't nothing to take away on the ice cat. So you know, hey, and I ain't saying that's historical, but I'm just saying, you know, it's more shit you can do in the summertime than you can do in the wintertime. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Jeez. So you know, that's what it is. Y'all ain't got no more questions. Just, just one thing, oh, yeah. Um, I take it because you're from Georgia, yeah. You're going to be at the Warriors Conference coming up soon. Yeah, I'm going to be there. Cool. Uh, is that being broadcast live at all? Because obviously we'll cross the I pond. Think I might live, you know what? I think I might live stream that. I think I'm going to live stream that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to yeah. live stream it. Yes. 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 Sorry. I think I'm live. Yeah. I, I just know that that Warriors conference is going to be flames. That's going to be flames. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so make sure y'all mm -hmm. make sure y'all join that Warriors conference. Uh, the 18th of this month, next month. The thing is, unfortunately, I'm I'm not going to be in the country, but I will have internet connectivity. So yeah, wherever I'm at on the globe, I will be tuning in straight uh, up. Okay. Real. All right. Absolutely, yo. We get that. I'm gonna sneak that live stream, man. Get that live stream cooking for the Warrior Conference. You know what I'm saying, then you know, I'll be filming anyway, so you know, it's all good. Hey, huh? Yeah. I got a question before you close that. Go ahead, brother. All right, and I want just going back to the John Hansen thing because I experienced this about four months ago at work on the job. Okay. It was this reverend who comes in, you know, they call him Rev because he has his little shotgun, little church going on. And uh, he started quoting the John Hansen thing in front of everybody. Mm. I knew it was a lie. I knew it was a myth. But I was looking at the light of them people who never studied before in their eyes. They were real interested for them to go study. So I never intervened, and I just let the Reverend go ahead and tell that about John Hansen. So you think I was wrong for that? Yeah, if you know better, yo, you're supposed to do better. You was dead wrong, yo. We don't need that. Yeah, because... Yeah, cause it, it takes me back to remember the Shakespeare thing. You know, it's like it grabbed yeah. you in, and you know, yeah. it grabbed them so you could go study. Yeah, but still, but you figured out it's a lie. You also, but, but but what it does is it develops bad habits. 
for being lazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's going to make you fall short anyway, man. You, that's like Paul in the Bible. The lie that I told that it helped you, as long as I hope it should be okay. The lie, come on, but all, come on, man. So I'm saying that Reverend stand up oh. telling a lie. We got enough African history that's incredible without needing to make that lie up. Like, what white person could let you be the president of them during that time? <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> that don't make no yeah. sense. They ain't letting your own property. Talking about the president. It's foolishness, man. So, no, if I'd have been there, I'd have busted the preacher up. And I say, yo, you trying to spread, spread that myth like that Jesus Christ myth. You know what I'm saying? Stop that, Brad. Yeah, yeah your old, your old doctrine is myth. Yeah, hey, yo. All right, I know what. Yeah. All right, I appreciate that. Yeah, don't let him get away with that. He needs to stick to the shit he don't know, which is the Bible, because he don't really know. Let him stick to that. Because, folks, because see, what happened is a person really look at that, right? And the internet is so serious these days, a person look at that and go look and say, see, that's why I don't like fucking that black shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm hitting you with that, yo. Okay. All right, yo, I'm a, yeah, you feel me, right? Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, the, the light you send in their eyes with some false ass light. <laughs> 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 Shit, some unbeneficial light. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, hell. I don't know. It is what it is, man. But, I, I mean, if I know something, I like to just tell the people what I know, man. Shit. You know, like I said, we all went down that road of doing the John Hansen thing. John Hansen is John Hansen. Make sure y'all check out the um, the Real Black Atheist website. You know it's live and kicking. You know, go ahead and join. Get your Amara Squad t-shirts. Make sure you check out um, uh, damn, uh, the Magi, Vanguards of Kemet. Okay? Check out the Signs of Cool Fool. Alright? Check out Ngozi DNA. All this is on Facebook. Yep. Make sure y'all check out at anime.com. You know, the cartoon, uh, Dr. Mayotte, you know what I'm saying? Um, Sister Soup Net, Village of Isis, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Brother Ish, Scientology, you know, he got a class coming up again on Scientology. Scientology, make sure y'all check that out. Uh, check out the Nas signs, you know, just support us, you know what I'm saying? Brother Next, your t shirt should be there in a minute. All right, brother. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, just keep supporting, man. I appreciate y'all catching the hangout. And like I said, man, I'll catch y'all tomorrow early, brother. Black African Power. You know, I'm a raw squad in the house. Real Black Atheism is on the rise. Check out the Real Black Atheist Library. And then check out the Black Vitamin. All right? All on YouTube. Black African Power. Black African Power. Black African Power. Oh, yeah.